There's one way that you can actually increase the range of a vehicle that not many people know about. In fact, a university has just discovered a way to make their electric motors five times faster than the Tesla Model S plaid electric motor. This would significantly increase the range of EVs with these motors. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Not many people are aware of the actual RPMs of an electric motor. Now we talk about, when we talk about a car, right? We're talking about a gasoline powered car. We're like, oh, well, the new Ferrari, whatever it is, it's top rev line is 8,000 RPM. Or we say the, the new Ford Mustang that's just come out, the new GT model with the V8. It's got the Shelby flat plane crank engine and it'll do 9,000 RPM. Isn't that amazing? Well, the RPM of internal combustion engine vehicles of gasoline powered vehicles is pretty low compared to say an electric motor. And that's one of the key reasons why the efficiency, one of them, one of the key reasons why the efficiency of electric motors is so much higher than internal combustion engine motors. Now there's a whole other range of reasons, but we won't go into those now. However, to, to compare it, for example, the highest revving motors right now that you'd buy in a production model vehicle are around 9,000 for gasoline. For electric, they're around 25,000. Tesla's fastest revving motor, RPMs, is the Tesla Model S plaid motor, the carbon sleeved rotor. It has enables this motor to rev at 23,500 RPM, 23,500, which is obviously much, much faster than any gasoline engine. However, engineers at the University of New South Wales have built a new high speed motor, which has the potential to increase the range of electric vehicles. Now, this design was inspired by the shape of the longest railroad bridge in South Korea, and it's capable of achieving speeds of around 100,000 RPM. Now to put that in context, that's more than four times as fast as the Tesla Model S Plaid. Now, if you think increasing the RPM of a motor is irrelevant, well, think again. And while the maximum RPM of Tesla's motor in the Model S Plaid is 23,308 RPM at 200 miles an hour, the previous model, the P100D had a red line of 18,000 RPM at 155 miles per hour. So you can see that yes, actually increasing RPM can make the vehicle faster and it can make it more efficient. However, there's a few other reasons why these faster motors will actually change the game when it comes to EVs, they absolutely will. Now the maximum power and speed of this motor, this new motor of 100,000 revolutions per minute achieved actually exceeded and doubled the existing high speed record of laminated IPM SMs or interior permanent magnet synchronous motors, making it the world's fastest IPM SM ever built with commercialized lamination materials, according to the researchers. Most importantly, the motor is able to produce a very high power density and significantly reduces the use of rare earth materials which save on weight and construction costs. That's the key. One of the trends of electric vehicles is for them to have motors which rotate at higher speeds, says Dr. Chu from the University of New South Wales School of Electrical Engineering and Telecommunications. Every EV manufacturer is trying to develop high speed motors and the reason is that the nature of the law of physics then allows you to shrink the size of that machine. And with a smaller machine, it weighs less and consumes less energy and therefore that gives the vehicle a longer range. With this research project, we have tried to achieve the absolute maximum speed. And we have recorded over 100,000 revolutions per minute, and the peak power density is around seven kilowatt per kilogram. Now, for those of you wondering, Tesla's model is plaid motor weighs 99 pounds or 45 kilo, while the rest of the drive unit, the single speed transmission and the inverter weighs around 110 pounds or 50 kilo. That gives us a low total weight of 220 pounds or 95 kilos. And this is one of the big advantages of the Tesla Model S Plaid motor and its carbon sleeve, which reduces the weight significantly, massively increasing its power to weight number. So the electrical drive system developed at the University of New South Wales by these researchers is also scalable and the power and speed can actually be adjusted. The researchers say that it would take around six to 12 months to modify the motor to suit Tesla's needs. For example, 
We have our own machine design software package where we can input the requirements of speed or power density and run the system for a couple of weeks. And it gives us the optimum design that satisfies those needs, says Dr. Chu. Now, obviously, can this motor be used in mass production? Will it last for 500,000 kilometers, a million kilometers, two million kilometers? I'm going to guess probably not. Running those kinds of speeds, I'm going to guess that the reliability would be significantly lower. But if you just turned it down a bit by, say, 100%, down to 50,000 RPM, or 50%, depending on how you want to look at it, down to 50,000 RPM, then the, in theory, the longevity of this motor could be significantly increased. Now, this is one of the big advances we're going to see in electric cars over the next decade. It won't just be batteries becoming more efficient. I've also talked about the new motors that are becoming more efficient. One of the new ways that these motors will become more efficient is by running at higher speeds, therefore enabling them to be smaller and lighter weight. Now, I think it's really interesting to see this kind of development in the electric vehicle world. Let me know if this is the kind of stuff that interests you. If it is, I'll make more videos about technology in the motors and about technology in other parts of EVs, not just in the battery pack. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.